Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to review not one, but three Blue Run bottles. But more importantly, stay tuned because we're going to talk about the new innovative whiskey person who also happens to be a super taster that is helping bring this product to market. You're going to want to hear her story. Welcome to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, what's new at Charlie's this week is a whole lot, of, whole lot, Don. Man, I'm excited about this one. So, uh, my good friend, Mr. Don Williams of Bourbon Fool, how are you, Don? I'm good, Charlie, and I'm always good when I see three bottles instead of one. Exactly, man. It's uh, three for the price of one. But uh, so, so Blue Run is what we have here. So, Blue Run is a um, product of Mr. Jim Rutledge, one of my personal heroes. He's a uh, He's done a lot of really cool stuff, you know, maybe for a different day, but he's, uh, we've probably talked about him before, uh, but he's done a lot of cool stuff. So this is something that we were able to find a bottle when we were in Kentucky, uh, but it now is in Michigan, uh, just dropped here in the last week, and we are going to do a bourbon dinner with uh, Blue Run here at Charlie's. So check that out on Facebook and uh, you get a chance to try all this stuff for yourself. But Don, what do we got here, man? Well, you know, this is a big brand that's hitting the market by storm. Yep. Uh, some of the owners come from Facebook. They come from Nike. Uh, there is some heavy hitters behind this. They understand uh, marketing. They understand, you know, it, it, it's almost the idea of Air Jordans. Yeah. Let's enter the market with a premium product in a beautiful bottle. Uh, significant bottle but what I'm really excited about is not only is Jim Rutledge involved with this but there is a new innovative super taster working with Jim Rutledge on this and uh, that story is pretty cool absolutely so I can't wait to hear that because I don't know who this is but I do know Jimmy Rutledge and I do know that he, he's done a lot of work at Castle and Key and I think that's where most of this came from correct that, that yeah. is true and he had his hands in uh, contract distilling for, you know, at Castle and Key, but some of it also came from existing stocks, but Jim, it, he had his hands in all of this. Yes, exactly. So that for, I have very high expectations. So this first one we're going to do is the Reflection One. So this is a, um, a regular bourbon, right? Regular bourbon, 95 proof. They call this one their high rye bourbon. That's right. And that's 111 proof. Okay. And then this is their rye. That's their rye at 116.7. Yep. It's called an emerald rye. Yes. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Do you know what the difference is between the rye contents on these? Or? I, I really don't. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to guess the high rye has more. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It's working. That's a technical. That's you, a technical you answer. You know, this is a very complicated video. I don't need you. <laughs> Uh, trying to throw me off. I'm just going to go ahead and open a bottle because we don't, you know, we don't want to drag this thing out forever. And but um, we're going to start out with the reflection one. So, cheers, cheers, buddy. So that has some rye spice. I can't wait to get to the high rye. Yeah, no kidding. It does have a good rye spice, but it also has a good sweetness right up front. So, and this is the lowest proof of the three. This is a 95 proof. Right. A little bit of maple. Uh, oh, but, yeah. But I'm really surprised. I was not expecting that bite, but there's some s spice there. There's there a really decent is. amount of rye there for sure, for sure. Okay, so this is the high rye. This has more rye, though. It's actually darker. A little it bit is a little too. darker. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little higher in proof. I think this one's about 111, if I remember right. Definitely has more rye. <laughs> yeah, lots but, of spice. But still really good, uh, really good sweetness still to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and some fruit notes. This one has some fruit notes. Definitely has fruit notes. Very nice balance of the, the spice and the fruit and the sweet so 
this one as as it opens up this one is really significant and at 111 proof it's it's real easy drinking so on this one just a note Jim Rutledge was listed as the master distiller on this. Okay. On the other two bottles, he was listed as liquid advisor. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what they got for a rye now. All right. Cheers. Wow. Yeah. What a difference. What a significant difference on your palate. Oh, man. Like, yeah. So, let me explain to you what a super taster is. Yeah, what is a super taster? A super taster is a person that works in the food business or the beverage in industry that has a significant sensitive palate. Okay. And I found out that Shailen Gammon is working with Glue Run and she is involved with all the products coming out and she has been a super taster her entire life. She discovered that she had an extremely sensitive palate as a child even. And she's started in the food industry. She did some work with Jimmy and Eddie Russell at Wild okay. Turkey. All right. There's some bourbon chops I'm for you. I'm just going to say. That with Jim Rutledge, that gives you instant cred. That's right. And literally, uh, I was fascinated by her story. And, and she tells a, a quick story about as a child, she was tasting some pretzels. And she was able to tell that the pretzels came from a plastic bag because she could actually taste the plastic on the pretzels. A very significant player in the industry. And I think you're going to hear a lot more about her. Oh, yeah. And, you know. I've met some other people that have tasting palates like this, and this young lady is truly a super taster. Wow. Well, you know, women are making a much bigger part of that now lately um, across the board, and they always say they have a better palate than us guys. Yeah, you know, and, she, you know, she worked for Campari, which put her in touch with the Russells. Right. Yep. Uh, but literally, uh, she tells a great story and I can't wait to see what she produces along with Mr. Rutledge and, and Blue Run going forward. Absolutely. So, yeah, they're just getting started. So, I mean, I think the uh, sky's the limit for these guys. I think we'll be seeing a lot more of them. I think they'll have some special edition stuff coming out. They've already done a few special editions um, over the years. So, yeah, very excited. These were fantastic. That rye's really got some spice they, to it. That's got to be. That rye is right up there with some of the best rye I've yes. ever had. No, yeah. Uh, and I want to thank you because when we were in Kentucky, you talked me into buying this. Yep. And I featured it at one of my private tastings, and it was a big hit. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yep. So I'm really glad I did that. Yeah, absolutely. So the great stuff, great products, and uh, um, wow. And it, this is going to make a great dinner because yep. they're so th different, right? And don't forget, this dinner is coming up at Charlie's soon. Yeah, absolutely. Check the Facebook. Uh, sign up if you want to come try them. It's a great way to try all of them at once and then uh, meet some of the guys from Blue Runner to come up and talk about it and things like that. So anyway, those are always a great time. And uh, wow, that was a good one, dude. A very good one. And everyone, thank you. And like our videos and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers.